Thank you for joining us as we slow down to reflect on who Jesus Christ is this Advent season. I'm reminded by the parable that Jesus told of the hidden treasure and of the priceless pearl. We find it in Matthew 13, starting in verse 44. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field that a man found and reburied. Then in his joy, he goes and sells everything he has and buys that field. And then in verse 45 and 46 of Matthew 13, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one priceless pearl, he went and sold everything he had and bought it. Parables often communicate a main truth. And oftentimes parables can be hard to understand, to wrestle with, due to the culture gap and time. These ones, however, they don't seem to be that complicated. Those of us alive understand what it is to chase after something that we believe will give us security, control, power, happiness. The idea of winning the lottery or getting behind the next big idea before it hits the stock market, investing the right way. We see that, that the kingdom of heaven is like something that when we understand its value and what it could do for us, what it could mean to us, that we would abandon all else to have it, that we would put all of our eggs in one basket. And as we move forward this holiday season, like we have in holiday seasons before, the hustle and bustle, the speed, the cost, all the things that can get in the way of us experiencing the joy of the loved ones God has put in our lives, we need to slow down. Uh, we need to take inventory of the blessings God has given us. In Luke chapter 17, verse 11, Jesus, traveling to Jerusalem, he passed between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten men with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he told them, Go and show yourself to the priests. And while they were going, they were cleansed. But one of them, seeing that he was healed, returned, and with a loud voice gave glory to God. He fell face down at his feet, thanking him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus said, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Did any return to give glory to God except the foreigner? And he told him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. This story is a reminder to me of the gratitude we have for Jesus Christ entering into our humanity and living up to the law in a way none of us could ever do, taking our sins to the cross, dying in our place, our substitution, forgiving us for our sins, conquering death, adopting us into his family, ascended to the right hand of God in heaven, preparing a place for us, like the tenth leper that wasn't even one of his people, he was a Samaritan, turned back and gave glory to God. How much more now should his people in Christ, us, turn back with gratitude and exalt him to give him glory and respect for all that he's done? He's done so much more than to clean us of a disease. He has conquered the problem that we could never conquer. He has fulfilled the law. He is a substitution for our sins, and he's preparing a glorious place to be with him for all of eternity. I pray his people, us, can take the time this Advent season to focus on him, to love him, to give gratitude and thanks, and to turn around 
and have joy in love as an expression and extension of that Jesus to the friends and family around us. I pray that we would be everything he needs us to be this holiday season to draw and to give the attention to him as we reflect on the wonderful treasure that is Jesus Christ the kingdom of heaven and the wonderful scripture that we are reflecting on I pray that you would carry your devotion through the holiday season and continue to seek him and abide him with all of your resources for the treasure that he is. I pray you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us. Go with God.